Well, it's only changed recently. That this the, the perspective that you're coming with is a modern theology, it's a modern thought process. You're here because you have ancestors. You weren't there with, with them, but the fact that you're here proves you had ancestors. You have to be there to know whether or not you're a black man based on your ancestors, right? Give me that, Deuteronomy 28, 68, real quick. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 16. I'm sorry, can we step up so we're not, so we're not blocking real quick? What's your name, brother? Will, I'm Hezekiah. Yes, sir. Well, read that. Yes, sir. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now, you mean, you mean understand, let's understand what it means, Egypt, because the Bible is written in similitudes and metaphors, right? right? So just because it said Egypt doesn't mean the physical place of Egypt. So we're going to get the understanding of it real quick. Go ahead, read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So what does Egypt mean according to the scriptures? House of bondage. Yes. Now watch this, read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. One. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Stop. House of bondage. Read. Again. Uh -huh. With ships. Who went into bondage by way of ships? The Chinese man? The, the white man? Well, it's me, man. Now, okay, before, because I see where I see how your mind works already, right? I'm not talking about the select few. I'm talking about a nation, right? When you when you were to, if you were to look up the transatlantic slave trade, which you talk, you're not going to see white people, right? So let's deal with the obvious and not the fragment, right? So when you say you're going to go into slavery by way of ship, and I ask you who that happened to, that happened to so-called black people, so-called African Americans. I do know every nation. As their own slaves. They, they enslaved their own people. Now watch this. Now keep reading. Watch this. Because there's a very distinction between being uh, in servitude or having to pay off a debt and being involved in chattel slavery, which is what we were. Right? Watch this. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. In this slavery, you will never see your homeland again. That's what it means by it. Right? So every nation still has a country except the so-called African American. We think we're from America. Right. We think we're from California or Texas or New York or Mississippi or Alabama or Georgia. Is that really where we're from? Oh, then we'll go, oh, I'm from Africa. Africa is a continent with over 55 countries. Right. What tribe do you come from? We don't know. So we go, oh, I do the DNA test. Then you're going to the same people that sold you and bought and sold you and say, now please tell me, Master, who I am. But the Bible is going to tell you exactly who you are. Right. Read. And there you shall be sold. You shall be what? Sold. So once you get off those slave ships, you will be sold. Read. Unto your enemies. Unto who? Your enemies. Huh? For bondmen and bondwomen. So those other nations that had their own people in slavery, did they take them and did they auction them off to other to another race of people? No, they didn't. So what is it specifically discussing? What is it specifically recording? What is it specifically prophesying? Because this was written thousands of years before it happened. Does this relate to the black man? It sounds like it do, man. Right, right. I mean, I but what are we reading? Well, we're reading. No, no, but I'm just saying, we're reading the Bible. We're reading the Bible. That's got our history documented in it. That's interesting. Why would it have our history documented in it? That's a good question, but it do speak a lot about the Middle Eastern Hemisphere of that. You know. So it speaks about so the Middle, Middle Eastern Hemisphere, but that doesn't relate to Arabs right. because no, they bought no, and sold no. us too. However, so why, why, you know, that's my question. Why is our history right there in the Bible? I don't know if it's my history now, or our history, man. Oh, it's just speaking of, of the, oh. the areas, you know what I mean? And no, it's not. It, it said, it said, you're going to go into slavery by way of ship. And when you get off those ships, you're going to be sold unto specific, your enemies. It's not being specific on a black man there. But however, Okay, you know, okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. watch this, watch this. Wait, 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 wait. Let's say, let's say, let's say it doesn't say black in America, right? right. Because black people were sold all over the Americas. Yeah. Did that happen to Chinese people? 
through the ships. And read it again. Nah, read it again. Nah, nah, read it again. Nah, read it again. Nah, read it again. Nah, nah. I, I think my I think my brother didn't. He forgot nah, the nah, context. Nah, nah, read it again. Read it again. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Come on. With ships. So you're gonna go into slavery by way of ships. Come on. Watch this. By the way of I spake unto thee. Huh? Thou shalt see it no more again. Do the Chinese man still have a homeland? So it said you would never see your homeland again. Does the Arab man have a homeland? So it's not talking about that area called the Middle East. Because these people here would never see their homeland again. Read, watch this. And there. Come on. You shall be sold unto your enemies. And then we'll be auctioned off. Now, we went, I want to go back to the original question before I let you go. This debate, this the debate that we're having is part of the reason why there's no black community required. Right. This is very obvious history right here, and you're fighting with it. Instead of saying, you know what, I understand that that's my people. Brother, we do come from the same background. You're trying to find differences that are very easy to see we're the same people. Right. Read that again. Watch this. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again Come on. with ships. Come on. By the way, of I spake unto thee, huh? thou shalt see it no more again. Watch this. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Come on. For so, so, so who bought and sold us? And obviously, let me help you out. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. Who's that right there? That's a good question. That's a Dutch. That's a Spaniard. That's a Portuguese. Who's that right there? That's a conquistador. That's a Spaniard. Right? All right. So, I'm not giving you my thoughts and opinions. That's historical fact. Right. 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 So until we can until we can start with a baseline of fact. We're going to keep going back and forth. But you got to know a little bit of world history so that we can just see that this is plain in the Bible talking that's the, about us. That's the thing. I don't know about history. I was never there. Okay. Neither was I. Does that mean it didn't exist? I don't mean it didn't exist. So why is there, there's 30 million so-called African-Americans in the continent of the Americas. How did they get there? Why do they exist today? Why are they at the bottom of society? Why are they the last hire first prime? Why was there Jim Crow? Why were there black folks? Why does the Ku Klux Klan even exist? Because there was a history. Right. You gotta understand context, brother. Context means history. Right. If you can't deal with context, we can never have a straightforward conversation. Right. And that's right. why there's no black community. Because everyone wants to play semantics, but it's right there staring us in the face. It's right there staring us in the face. So why? So why is that? Why is that? because we're not dealing with reality. Everyone wants to have their own opinion and we're reading. I didn't write that. I didn't write the Bible, but there it is written for us. So read it and see that that applies to us. So who does that make us? Give me Deuteronomy one and one, because that was written to a specific, a specific family of people out of all 18 nations. Let's see what that makes us because of the prophecy that we know is true. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Come on. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Who was Moses talking to when he said, You're going to go into slavery by way of slave ships? All Israel. The children of Israel. That's who the so called black man is. That's why we have a name like black, which is not a nationality. That's why we call ourselves American, which is a white man's name. We don't come from that. Who are we? That's why the other nations make jokes of us because we can't figure it out. And it's right here staring us in the face the whole time. So you're trying to tell me we're Israelis? No, I'm not trying to tell you we're Israelis. Now, now you gotta know what, Israeli is a citizen of the state of Israel. Right. An Israelite is a descendant of Israel. That has nothing to do with the Bible. Right, right. And, and that was established in 1948, brother. This is yeah, thousands of years. Own, you know, no, they're, they're, they're from the Caucasians. Nope, yes. they're Moroccan. Yeah. They're, they're Caucasian, they're Tur Ottoman Turks. They have nothing to do with the Israelites. Nothing to do with the Israelites. Here it goes right here, Et etymology for you. Read that. Israeli citizen of the state of Israel, 1948. Israel plus Hebrew national designation suffix E. Also used in English as an eject. It distinguishes. Right? You know what it means to distinguish? Yeah. It, it separates. It, differ it, it tells the difference between. Read. It distinguishes the citizens of the modern state from the ancient people who had been known in English since the 14th century as Israelites. That's who we're talking about. Right. So we are Israelites. We are Israelites. Yeah. No, I'm showing you that the Bible says we are Israelites. All right. Because outside of that, I ask you again, who are you? And if you tell me a made up name, that means you I don't know. I'm an Israelite. That's right. Well, brother. at least part, you know, you know. 
so, so what does that mean? That means that once you know who you are, you have to recognize that everything in this Bible is for you. This is what hands for you. So now you, you gotta repent. You come back to your true origins. Well, I still gotta do my research you do. on my Asian side and my, my other side, you know. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Yeah. Watch this. I'm gonna let you go after this. Unless you got a question. I'm gonna let you go. Read Deuteronomy 7 and 6 because there's value in knowing you're in this life. If you've got what's the what's the most important, what's the most precious metal today? Say gold. Gold, right? Gold is pretty expensive. So I've got gold in this hand. I've got tin in this hand. Obviously, which one am I gonna drop if I've got to choose between the two? Probably the gold, because that's just mad heavy. <laughs> I'm just so, playing with you. Obviously, you're gonna drop the tin, man. Watch this. Now let me show you something. Now, that, was, that was an analogy, and I want you to know, check this. Yeah, watch yeah, this. Yeah. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Come on. For thou art and holy people unto the Lord thy God. Holy means set apart. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Special to the creator of heaven and earth. Special. Read. Watch this. Read. Above. Oh, what? Above. More valuable than. Come on. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Every other nation that God created. Oh, yeah, God says the children God of Israel. Chosen. Right? So then why would I, why would you need to do research on Chinese, which is Moab in the Bible, Japanese, Amen. Why would you need to consider all that? God's also in my blood, brother. But it I'm just, Hawaiian, I'm Chinese, and I'm African-American. So you're choosing. Here, I'm Irish as well. So, so you're choosing the tin. I want to look into this tin, even though I've got all this gold over here. I do. That makes sense. Because that's also part of me, man. You know, that's my bloodline. So I, I am in that division right there. It's why there's no black community. Because you always choose all the others instead of who you truly are. Hey, man, look. Who I truly am is who I truly am. I'm a mix. I can't do nothing about it. You know what I mean? Oh, of course, I'm also black, right? I don't know what that is. That's a color. My pants are black. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that means. That's a color. Africa is a continent. I'm Israelite. There you go. So if you're, if you're an Israelite, that's the goal. Who cares about ten? You shouldn't. God does it. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I know, God, I know what you mean. So, so I look, brother. I just wanted to share with eyes, you. I right. understand. I hope you See, look. I did not know so the, listen, the Israelite part. Do your research. That's, that's some new knowledge now, on me. Now, after you find out, right, after you do your research, you need to come be around other brothers so that we can continue to build that community that we said is lacking. See all these brothers right here? Yeah, this is the start yeah, of a community. Yeah. You see we all in the same color. You see we all in the same mind. You know what that starts? Community. What is nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.